Hello again everyone, we have this Mercedes-Benz CLK GTR Roadster today, made by a brand called Kyosho. No original packaging, uh, so it's one of these blister packs. I don't know how old this is, it's sometimes written on the box, but I don't have such. Okay, so I did a review of the CLK GTR race car. And in order for Mercedes to make and or compete with that CLK GTR race car, they had to sell some to the public. So they're committed to sell 25 road cars, uh, according to the FIA. Mercedes ended up making a whopping 26, though. Uh, they made 20 coupes, and then they made six roadsters. Uh, at the time, it was recognized as the most expensive car ever sold, uh, over 1.5 million million U.S. dollars. All right, uh, the car was built by AMG, just like the race cars were, and they retained, uh, I believe, the same similar engine. It's a uh, AMG V12, and making around a little over 600 horsepower out of about 6.9 liters. Okay. Now, the race car didn't have traction control, but they did add it for the road cars because, you know, I don't think normal people could handle it, maybe. Uh, besides that, the rear wing is different, and this thing only shared the headlights and the rear lights uh, with the street going CLK. Uh, the Roadster also has a different grille than the street going coupe version. The coupe version has a Mercedes star sticking up, but this one only has a star as part of the grill itself. And then this roadster is also heavier because, you know, there's no roof, but they still had to have these roll bars you know, to protect passengers in a rollover. So it's 105 kilos heavier, or like a, a portly man heavier. But I don't think that probably affects the performance too much. And that's all I really learned from Wikipedia. Bear in mind, all that could be a lie or wrong. Sadly, I'm noticing even on a silver painted car, this paint rash. It's not common to get paint bubbling on silver cars, but it's obviously there. These wheels do look like those photographs. These really thin spokes and many of them, so that's pretty nice. And it retains the center knockoff, you know, not individual lug nuts. And the tires look pretty good to me. These vents, though, they're just... Well, you know what? I think that's the black plastic of the inside. And then uh, this is his black paint, I think. Or maybe it is black plastic. Hold on, i got to look past my camera or my phone. Yeah, that is the black plastic of the inside. The door handle is sticking out a little bit. Uh, I don't know what this is. I think it's a reflector. And then these are latches for the clamshells to open up. Alright, let's go to the front here, a little texture here, uh, this is just smooth, and then yeah, the grill is a separate plastic piece with some chrome on it, and then the headlights are four individual pieces of plastic, so that's pretty good, ooh boy, I don't know if that's a scratch or what, and also the silver looks a little mottled, or, or maybe it's paint rash, maybe these are all small bubbles or something in there. One central um, wiper blade, painted black and raised. The cat, interesting, look at these side mirrors. That's, this could be a first for me. Uh, I don't know many cars that do this, but if I look at the side photograph, it does do that, so. The, weird. But on the photograph, the driver, no, this, this is correct. Yeah, this. It's really interesting. Let's just look again at that photo so you guys know what I'm talking about. The driver's on the further away position, so that's the steering wheel. That mirror is here, and then the passenger mirror is much further back. It's literally on the door, whereas the driver's mirror is on the fender. So I've never seen that, nor would I have ever noticed that in those photos. But I guess that's one of the perks of collecting a miniature of a real thing. Alright, that interior is typical Kyosho black interior stuff. Nice molded details, never any additional color. 
but you know I think that real car has just a black interior so it's quite accurate these roll hoop things yeah they're okay there's some black paint for some intakes going through the engine I'm assuming nothing no nothing there though no black paint or anything uh, well NACA ducks but no paint uh, more bubbling there bubbling there's a black paint that seems on this little surface that's not going in it's just a flat surface painted black these little textured areas are just black but I think those are plastic that's not paint okay and then this rear wing is a plastic piece separate piece and then the tail lights are clear plastic pieces and it looks like you can see the backup lights in them so that's good never a license plate on Kyosho it's very rare, I can't recall any. There's a little depression here in the exhaust tips, and the exhaust tip is painted silver, and then more black paint in these vents here. So, typical race car bottom, you know, a diffuser pan, some strakes here. Tells you what the car is, scale, that's probably the chassis code or body code for this thing. But no copyright date, you know, so I don't know how old this is. And then it's press fit together, so any problems or modding would be difficult without drilling it apart. Hmm. Okay. Slick rubbery tires. The rears do look wider than the fronts as well. Alright, I guess that's it. Let's uh, take a look at a couple other CLKs. Alright, well, the first one we should pull up is the racing coupe version by Kyosho. Probably the same collection of Mercedes. They may have had an AMG collection, Kyosho. So you'll notice on this one, Kyosho actually did put a plastic uh, Mercedes star up there. Obviously the wing is different, and then naturally the roof. Um, this one actually has like a molded engine in there, but it's just all black, so it's a little hard to see. Okay. I'm going to pull up a CLK DTM by Kyosho. And then a UCC coffee, uh, CLK something or another. UCC doesn't write anything on the bottom of their uh, castings. But that's clearly not a standard CLK because it has a wide body kit on it. But I think that was like something Mercedes did offer as a really expensive car. I think like $350,000 if I recall. But I can't remember for sure. Alright, uh... Yeah, uh, well, maybe one last car will be the Porsche 911 uh, GT1 that would have been competing for wealthy people's incomes. So Porsche had to make a bunch of these for sale to people as well, or they couldn't go racing. So uh, I'm going to guess you know, that's a, a street going one. Although Kyosho may have, or maybe it's the casting of the race one, but Kyosho just offered it in uh, white as well. So let's get a top view. Very cool. Well. It's a little let down again to see paint rash, especially on a silver Kyosho, but that's part of the game of collecting uh, old die cast Kyoshos. So just keep that in mind if you haven't bought any. They uh, tend to be expensive, and you're going to have to live with these sort of problems. Uh, there's just no way around it. Okay, well, thanks for watching today. I'm sure I'll get other Kyoshos in the future, so hopefully, I'll see you in the comments then. Bye.